Hi, I'm Paul Balash. Welcome to Worship Band Workshop. And I'm going to try to unpack sort of how I think about putting a band together, how I prepare a band, how I rehearse a band, uh, just some of the spiritual and practical aspects to trying to keep a band thriving and inspired and growing. And um, we're going to go, we're going to look at the scriptures, and I'm just going to also draw on some experience I've had over the last bunch of years and um, we're going to have some guest artists kind of give us their thoughts as well. But uh, glad you could join us. Um, we're going to cover things like, um, you know, from the spiritual preparation, I'll probably start off with that. Just kind of some of my thoughts on, on worship leading or a worship team, how to build a band, how to rehearse a band. And we're going to demonstrate that with a band, with a full band. And then we'll break up into uh, segments like our guitarist, Ben, will show you his pedal board, how he gets a lot of those cool sounds and how he uses electric guitar to really enhance the message of the song in those moments. Uh, we'll have a segment with drums and just get hear the heartbeat of a drummer of how he serves the song and serves the situation. Uh, we're gonna talk about dynamics and timing, how to improve our timing, etc. So we're gonna cover all that all for the purpose of just hopefully becoming more effective at leading the people that God's called us to lead in worship week after week after week. And just asking God, how can we be, how can we create an environment through this vehicle of music that makes it easier for our folks to really forget about their, their cares and burdens and really draw near to God? That's the thing. How do we create an environment that makes it easy for them to connect with the Lord? So you may choose to just watch one section at a time with your team and maybe stop it and kind of discuss some of the things, whether or not you agree or disagree with some of the ideas I'm going to be putting out there. Um, but I just pray that it, it just encourages healthy conversation about how your team can be more effective at leading the folks that God's called you to lead in worship. So here we go.